It's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. Okay. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire probably presents something the boxing games are missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, there's a lot to talk about because there's some there's some shenanigans going on in the super flyweight division, and uh, I wanted to talk about it because, you know, last what was it March? Last March, Guy Estrada was the beneficiary of what many believe to be a gift decision against Roman Chalatito Gonzalez. But nonetheless, it was a great fight. Uh, he got the decision. It was the finest hour of his career. And since that fight, we have not seen or heard from him. And, um, you know, he was supposed to fight Joshua Franco. And uh, Joshua Franco has waited patiently to get his shot at Guy with Strata for the longest time. And uh, Golden Boy Promotions had put up a, a, a purse bid of like $120,000 for their fight, uh, which would have been split between the two fighters. So that neither one of them would have made crazy money. And now Guy Estrada has vacated the WBA belt, uh, which now means that Joshua Franco, who had the secondary title, you know, the regular belt, has now been upgraded to the world champion. So Joshua Franco is now your WBA, <laughs> he's not your WBA world champion. So you got, you know, Baron Rodriguez who got a belt, you got... Franco, who got a belt, and um, now these guys like the Klitschko brothers of the freaking low weight classes. But it, it, in all, in all, um, in all seriousness, you know, now they're talking about Guy Estrada fighting Roma Gonzalez in the third fight. Now, I'm just gonna be honest, all right? I'm gonna be perfectly honest. I see in both fights, my prescription on my glasses works very, very well. Roma Gonzalez did not lose the first fight against Guy. And he damn sure didn't lose the second fight against Guile. He is the better fighter. He's already established that very clearly. Just because some incompetent judges ringside missed a great fight doesn't mean that, you know, we got to see this pointless third fight. The third fight should have been happened. If it was going to happen, it should have already happened. And I don't, they had that scheduled for March of uh, earlier this year. It should have been, It should have happened towards the middle or the latter part of 2021, but they they messed they messed around and they didn't make the fight happen. So it was what it was there. I think that fight just chuck it in the bin. I want I don't want to see Charlie Tito fight Gaio again. I want to see Gaio. I don't want to see Gaio Roma side three, or I'd rather see Gaio versus Ioka or Gaio versus you know. I, I just want to see different fights. Like I don't want to see the same fights anymore. Like Roma Gonzalez should fight. Ioka. That, that, that's the fight I really want to see. I want to see Chalatita versus Kazuto Ioka because Kazuto Ioka deserves a, a, a chance against to, to prove what he can do against the big names in the weight class. He just came off a really good win against Donny Nietes, and, and, and he's showing with time that, that he's getting uh, better, and he's actually showing his level in the sport that he is one of Japan's best fighters, that he is one of a potential top 10, top 15 pound-for-pound -pound caliber fighter, and he, he's not being afforded the chances to fight Big names in the weight class. Um, and that's not fair to Kazuta Ioka, who is WBO champion. So I feel like Gao should be looking to fight him. But apart from that, you still got guys like Kosai Tanaka, who I, I feel should get the opportunities, you know, whether it be against Gao or Chalatito. You got, you know, a lot, a lot of guys. Bam, Bam, Bam should fight Gao. Bam should fight Chalatito. You know, so there's Bam Rodriguez, there's Kosai Tanaka, there's Kazuta Ioka. Any one of them three should be fighting Gao with Jada. But ever since Gaio won that fight against, um, and I say I use the word "won" very loosely, but ever since he won the fight against Roman Gonzalez, we it's like he's damn near rested on his laurels. Like the guy don't want to fight anybody except Roman Gonzalez, which I don't even think he wants to do that. I think at this point he's just doing it for the payday, to be honest with you. And I get it. Like in the lower weight classes, they don't get the same money they get in the, in the, in the bigger weight class. So you kind of gotta fight for the payday because. If you don't do that, then you're going to be a broke-ass fighter. So I, I get all that. But Gao made good money the last fight. He's made decent money in his career. He's an accomplished fighter. He's a pound-for-pound -pound caliber guy. Um, give somebody else a chance, man. Like, give it a rest. Like, you, more, most most people, I'm not going to say everybody because I don't want to paint everybody in a, in, a, in a vacuum or blanket statement. But most people think that Romo Gonzalez beat Gao Estrada in the both fights. Now, there are some people that think Guy won the first fight. There are some people that think Guy won the second fight. And there's even some crazy people that think Guy won both fights. But but it's a very, very, very small amount of people. 
he lost both fights. Most people believe that. That 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 is the truth. So I just don't think like I think that fight even even if the fight winds up being great, and even though I think it it it, it could be a great fight still because they're both great fighters and, they, and their styles mesh well, and I might even enjoy the third fight. Maybe 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 it winds up being a wild and fury three scenario, and the third fight's the best. We don't know, but my thing is like. The fight has lost a lot of momentum. Like this isn't like Wilder versus Fury, where there was a lot of hoopla after the fight that kept the momentum of the fight alive for when they fought a third time. No, they've been out of sight, out of mind. Um, and I just think there's other guys in the division with more momentum who haven't got chances against them, like Bam, like Tanaka, like um, Kazuto Ioka. Like, uh, you know, jokingly, I'm saying this jokingly, but Prince Patel, <laughs> Prince Patel, who keeps uh, talking all this stuff on Twitter, you know, uh, about Chalatito, because Chalatito jokingly called him out years ago. Prince Patel, you know, they're, they're, there's other opportunities for fights out there. And it's just like, why, why play the same record again when the majority of people who watch this damn sport believe that one fighter is better than the other? And the fight doesn't have the momentum. It doesn't have any momentum. So you're just gonna pluck it out of thin air, like come on, man! Like give 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 one of the young guns a chance, give uh, Ioka a chance, who who has proven himself to be a creme de la creme top shelf fighter who can fight at the highest of levels. Let him fight Gaio. Why don't Gaio fight Kazuto Ioka? Why he want to fight Charlo Tito? Why don't he want to try to fight Joshua Franco under better circumstances? Why why, why why don't they try to renegotiate something? I don't know. I just don't want to see the fight again because. First and foremost, I already know Chalatito's better than Gaio. And second of all, I already know that if the fight is close, if the fight is close, or if the fight is close enough to interpretation but Chalatito's winning again, they're just going to give it to Gaio because they don't want Chalatito to be remembered as the best guy. And they want to prowl other guys. So it is what it is. That, that's my opinion. So, uh, yeah, that's the news. Joshua Franco is now the champion of the WBA. I hope he gets afforded the opportunity to fight uh, big names in the weight class because uh, he got put through the ringer and a bunch of bullshit with Guy Estrada, and uh, that's what it is. So you guys, uh... well, no, actually, for fun of the video, and not just that, Golden Boy Promotions didn't even put up a. a, a they should have put up more than they put up for the fight, even though the fight may, may not be a big fight. I think that also has a reason to do with what, why he left Golden Boy. Joshua Franco left Golden Boy because that that purse wasn't going to be enough to satisfy the wants and needs of a Guy Estrada. And he knew that, and he just probably felt like they were doing wrong by his career. So that's what it was. But yeah, leave a comments down below. What do you think about this whole situation? What do you think about Charles Tito versus Guy 3 And do you agree or disagree with anything I said? And, and let, let me know who do you think Joshua Franco should fight next now that he's the WBA Super Flyweight Champion. Leave a comments down below. Make sure you guys take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just kidding, Daniel. So until next time. Take it, guys. Thank you for watching another video on True School Sports, the home of boxing. If you made it this far, do me a favor and do yourself a damn favor. Hit that subscribe button and surely you will not be disappointed. You know, True School Sports bringing you the latest and greatest, the untouchable, you know, boxing content, interviews, news videos, breakdowns, live fight reaction extravaganza. We've got a great community of, of people here. Boxing fans all over the world from America to the UK to Australia and on and on and on. So join the empire today. Hit that subscribe button. Take care and God.